Hello everyone and welcome to my review of Peter Rabbit the film. Oh, what a film! <laughs> it's great fun. It really is. Whatever age you are, you're going to enjoy this movie. Even if you're an adult alone and you think, shall I see it? I'm an adult alone. Don't worry, go watch it. Yes, if you've seen Paddington, you're certainly going to enjoy this. In fact, there's probably more laughs, more connection in this one than Paddington. Of nothing against Paddington, Paddington was great fun, it's all good fun, but there's more, I think there's um, certainly more comedy. You know, I'm not going to say any more about Paddington, that was good, this is a separate film. So, what's the story about? Well, Peter Rabbit and his family of little rabbits, basically they live in, by, in the countryside. By first of all, like a, a, a an elderly gentleman who doesn't like rabbits, and of course he doesn't want to be very friendly to them, to the point of he actually wants to get rid of them permanently. So Peter Rabbit, he also has a nice young lady who really cares for nature and the rabbits, and really wants to look after them. Bless her. So what we have then is. The gentleman who what doesn't like rabbits, he's the one who grows Sorry, all the vegetables. <laughs> all the vegetables in the um, in the plot in, in his garden, so the rabbits want to go get the films. So he sets traps and things like this. So one day he actually captures Peter, but on this particular day, he himself ends up. Uh, let's just say not survived in the day. So then the house becomes empty. The animals have a great time. That is, until we're introduced to his nephew. Now his nephew works in Harrods in London. Very particular. Very organised. Not a country person. Someone who's very organised from London. So, he goes down to this house because he loses his job. So, and then he figures out that if he sells his property, he can make money to perhaps open his own shop. So that was his great plan. So he goes over to the, the house, and then he meets the lady. Ah, uh, yes, you guessed it. They like each other. But, in the meantime, he also discovers all the animals, and particularly Peter Rabbit and his family. Do they get along? No. Very much like his granddad. Uh, they, he sees them as pests, not mice. Now I'm saying there's lots of comedy in between uh, Home Alone style, setting traps, stripping over, uh, words, comments, things like this, references. Uh, and it is all good fun. And it is a laugh. And obviously there is a serious story connected in there as well. And I, without, don't want to give too much of a story away. Um, there is a story off about acceptance, connecting, sharing, all those type of things, you know, um, being careful even, and just working together. There's kind of that story connection in there as well, and it works very well, and I, re I know I went to see it, I really enjoyed seeing it, very, the CGI graphics are amazing. They are really, really cleverly done. So don't feel um, you can't see this film for any reason, or whatever reason you want to put there. It is a good laugh, it is enjoyable. And uh, I'm sure this, this one will carry on the for quite a while. And uh, give it a couple of years, I'm sure we'll see Peter Rabbit number two. But it is good fun, it really is, and it's very clever. Uh, so I certainly recommend it. See you later, bye.